something that we love happens on Great Day St. Louis when one guest is watching another guest. And Jenny and I both, Jenny Roush of Carpet Kitchen and Bath, <laughs> we're both going, where in Rock Hill? Yeah. Where is the wine and cheese place in Rock Hill? Okay. <laughs> Jenny, you had a tough decision to make. They did. The readers had that as well yes. from Sauce Magazine. But you, with the bathroom makeover contest, how many entries? There were over 50. So we okay. looked at a lot of bathrooms over the last couple of days because we had to do it pretty quickly. So we had some really interesting, interesting entries. And, you know, there were so many that we so wanted to help, like that really needed help. But there was only $6,000. And a lot of that wouldn't she even. She says only. I, I, I only. <laughs> But I think there were a lot that had some uh, plumbing problems, and plumbing pro problems, behind the wall problems can be very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. So. You also, my dear, you got, you got, you got grossness there. <laughs> we you, got we, a we're not going to show photos of <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. but you were surprised. I, well, I think um, the dirtiest bathroom wasn't really what we were it after. It wasn't the category. No, it was the ugliest. But you did get right. that. We did get that, and you know, there are things that you can do to help your bathroom, like pick the trash up off the floor, Ouch. use a little Clorox Ouch. and a rag, Ouch. but yeah, but, but most people really truly had some, there are some ugly bathrooms in St. Louis right. we found out and most people really could use some help and we wish we could help all of them. Was the ugly because it's outdated, um, things that don't match? All of the above, all of the outdated above. and you know what, some, some things just get to the point where they're so old that you can't clean them anymore, you know, the, right. the enamel's worn off of them or you know, various different things. Well, we, we have two runners up and then we have the winner. The, yes. the first runner up is from Oakville, the Syme family. Yeah, this one was pretty um, pretty unattractive, I would say. They have some exposed plumbing on the wall there. And this is a great example of why not to buy a fiberglass shower base. I believe that's fiberglass. And once fiberglass gets really dirty, you just no matter how how hard you try to clean Nothing it, you, you can't can clean it. Yeah. But but the upgrade to marble or some other natural product is is an upgrade. It is an upgrade, right. but not so substantial that you know an extra hundred or two hundred dollars shouldn't really affect your choice. Um, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. I was thinking more more than a couple. It of hundred. can be depending on the what size. you choose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Our other runner up is the Custer family. They have three teenagers. God bless you. Yeah. And you know this was so cute because she went in there and she had this pink bathroom and she wrote this letter about how she just embraced it and this is the SpongeBob SquarePants bathroom. Okay. So she has the border and she tried to you know she had all these characters written my daughter's only 10 months old so I didn't I don't we don't watch Spon Spongebob yet but he's very I, popular but yeah but I did really appreciate the references that she made it was it was really are you anti-border don't do border uh yeah but you know what when you're when you're working with something like this and you're just trying to make it fun I mean she put like I think there's like a palm tree on the toilet seat and so she really did embrace what she had she did she dealt with what she had she did yeah and we have no band in the studio today but uh imagine a drum roll for the winner yes, of and the, the winner is kitchen and bath bathroom ugliest bathroom makeover contest there they are right there yeah and i don't know how to pronounce this uh, Delaha. 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 <laughs> well this family uh that they have what do they have four teenage or two, three, three teenagers, teenagers. Mm -hmm. and she has lived with this um combination of green and gold with a white toilet seat for 18 years this she's lived with this for 18 years and that is just it is time for her to get a new bathroom and she's going to get it and she compliments. is going to get it so i hope she's watching today colleen if you're watching congratulations you get a new bathroom and she's like a lot of you guys congratulations she kept saying i'm going to remodel i'm going to remodel and yeah. then just never did yeah but now she gets to yes she does well thank you for doing this and you're going to watch it all on television <laughs> we can't wait to see the we've seen the before yeah we're looking for the after now yeah. tina yeah. good to see you Good to see you too. Thanks. Well, if you uh, if you would like some bathroom advice, you can call Jeannie at Carbit Kitchen and Bath at 314-645-6545. We were thinking of doing a segment on the latest in cleansers because people really do. It's hard to find the right cleanser. So maybe we'll do that coming up on Great Day St. Louis.